flirt and the caramel these spoons are so fancy you here i wanted to do a quick shout out to my favorite perfume my go-to perfume my lifelong perfume it is another 13 by lilabo so this is the 3.4 fluid ounces one so it is the larger size and it's going to take me a while to use up but i wanted to talk about lilabo because right now they are doing the city exclusive month which essentially you can get the fragrances that are only available in certain cities at all stores so these are city exclusive scents from amsterdam miami la seoul all these otherwise rare fragrances that you wouldn't be able to get your hands on at all the lavo stores from now until september 30th so it's a great way to try out other scents and if you're on the search to find a new fragrance i would highly recommend it i first started off with a sample of another 13 and citron 23 and i just fell in love with both of them so definitely check it out i'll see if i can find the clips of me trying out the new samples if not uh let's get back to the lavo store
someone taught me that you have to actually smell the lavabo scents outside because there's so many smells going on inside. Mmm, I really like tuberous. Let me see. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, have thank a good you. one. Thanks so much. Yay! Yeah. Guys, she did it. Or I mean, she like she like partially did Not it. Fully Not fully there. Not fully there, but. If you're watching, I didn't buy the full bottle. <laughs> good for her. <laughs> We're converting everyone to the another thirteen. Oh my God, Jane, go this way. Real trendsetter. <laughs> She is. We just smelled know it what in I her like. room and we were like, this smells so good. Maybe it's because, I mean, it makes sense. Birds of the feather flock together. <laughs> it is a really good scent if you guys have not tried it out. It is, I can't even describe it, but it's just someone that I want to meet. Oh my God, if a guy were that, that'd be hot. Just saying. Hmm, I've actually never smelled it on a guy. So we are waiting for Deb at Rebecca Kitchen for her lunch. Should I show them instead? Oh, they're right there. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Hi. We were just talking about the beautiful finishes. We were talking about the street and cheese. This yeah. is the fix. You don't have an Americano. I'm going to just fill this with water. And here you have your own iced Americano. We're here at Tribeca Kitchen getting lunch for Deb's second and third dress fitting. Um, Future bride to be. <gasps> this is great lighting. It is, but it is. Alina. <laughs> this is Jen. <laughs> I've been here like 50 times, so I know. <laughs> piece of fish. Are all swordfish this big? Also, yeah, I did my nails, guys. Don't look. They look a little crazy, I know. Yep. Wednesday night, Thursday night. Okay. So 
that was, is that a Michelin restaurant? Either way, highly popular Italian place. What did we think out of 10? Everything tasted good though. Mm. I'll give it an 8.5 or like a 9, 8.5. Didn't like, well pasta Multiple never ice. really like, pasta never really blows, yeah. blows me out of the water if that makes sense. But it was still good. I mean it came out to what, 100? So 50 a person? Let's see, where are we going? Now we're gonna go find some dessert. Hey Navias. Oh yeah. Guys, we are waiting for our Uber. We're gonna throw these shoes out. We don't like them. 